Hi, my name is Dan, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Cauldron on a Mac using PIP. First, go to unnotebook.com and click Get Started. Here you can review the system requirements. Cauldron requires Python 3 and will not run on Python 2. You can see which versions we support. And also, your Mac will have to have a 64-bit operating system. Also documented here are the steps we're going to do in today's tutorial. First, we're going to install the Python package. Then we'll install the Cauldron desktop app. And finally, we'll do a quick hello world to get an idea of what it's like to work with Cauldron. OK, let's get started. First of all, open up your terminal and type in the command pip install cauldron-notebook and hit return. Okay, it's always a good idea to check to make sure that, that was, we have the proper version in there and was done right. So I'm going to bring up Python and I'm going to import Cauldron. Then I'm going to check the version by typing Cauldron period underscore underscore version underscore underscore hit return. And that is the proper version at the timing of this tutorial. So step one is done, on to installing a desktop app. Under the Mac section, hit Standard Installer. It will download. Click to launch the installer. Bring Cauldron into the Applications folder. Open the Applications folder and click on Cauldron. I'm going to say it's OK, open. And here you can see the Cauldron has automatically located the path to my Python executable. If you have more than one version of Python running on your machine, you might have to do this manually. But this all looks good, so let's get started. Click on Start. I'm ready to create my first notebook. I'm going to hit Create. It's asking for a notebook name, so I'm going to call this Notebook Tuesday. And it's also asking for a directory where I'd like the files stored for this project. And I'm going to store them here. And for this project, I'm just going to accept all the defaults and click on Create. Now I'm in my notebook. There's Notebook Tuesday. And it's asking for my first step. So I click here to add a step. Click Create. And here you can see it's been created right here. And the file that it's created is s01.py. And here's one of the places that we're different than other notebooks in that you get to choose whatever IDE you prefer to code in. You're not just limited by the browser. And I like PyCharm. So I'm going to go to PyCharm. And I've already created the project using Cauldron, so I'm going to open it with PyCharm. And I can see right here is the folder that I had listed uh, earlier in Cauldron, and there it is, Notebook Tuesday. I'm going to click on that, select Open. I can see that Notebook Tuesday is right here. I'm going to open up the folder. There's that file for the first step. I'm going to bring that up. And we always import the Cauldron library to each step. But since we're just doing a simple hello world, I'm going to delete that and type in print hello world. Now I go back to Cauldron. And I hit this button right here to run it. You can see it's running. And there's the result, hello world. If I'd like to edit this, I go back to my IDE, and I edit it there. Hello, universe. Return to Cauldron, and run that step again. And you can see there's the change. Now if I want to add more steps, I just click here. I can go before or after. I'm going to go after, and I can fill out my notebook in this fashion. If you have any more questions, please visit us at unnotebook.com on GitHub or contact us through Gitter. Thanks.